And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Ezreal. Uh, we're going to be playing a Go Hard control deck with all sorts of augment units and our champions, of course, being Victor and Ezreal. It should work out pretty well. So Ezreal, of course, creates a fleeting Mystic Shot in hand whenever Ezreal strikes the Nexus. And so creating cards is exactly what Victor wants to do. So they have a little bit of synergy there. Plus, they, they kind of just want to play a longer game, right? Like, the, the longer the game, the better for Victor. As you, uh, every single round, you keep on creating those hex core upgrades for it um, and everything and, and uh, get towards the level up. Um, with PNZ and Shadow Isles, you get to play some great early removal. We have Thermogenic Beam, Death Ray, Go Hard, um, you know, and uh, it, Unspeakable Horror. Some really good early removal spells. And, of course, those are awesome for leveling up Ezreal. Um, Unspeakable Horror creates, if you play Nightfall, creates another card for us. Um, for another created card. And then the other Go Hards that you put in your deck are going to be new copies. They're going to be cards that you create if you draw into the other Go Hards. Same with, like, the Death Rays. And things like that. So lots of ways to create cards. Lots of ways for removal. Top end, we got, like, some progress days. Because we're putting Go Hards and Death Rays into our deck... And both of those are our cheap cards that we're, we're putting into our deck. So we're going to want a good amount of card draw. So we have like Glimpse Beyonds to go find those. And then also Progress Days, which Progress Days can reduce the cost of them. Also, besides just like the Victor level up, reducing the cost of your created cards. Um, one Give It All for a Finisher, a couple of Vengeance for some good removal, a Rekindler that can bring back Ezreal or Victor. Because... Um, I guess, yeah, both Ezreal and Victor, they, they really like sitting on the battlefield and just, like, sitting and play. And even if even if your Ezreal isn't striking your opponent's Nexus, as long as you have a leveled-up Ezreal sitting on the in play, then each uh, spell that you play is doing one damage to their Nexus. Um, and, of course, obviously, Victor likes sitting in play. So Rekindler can bring those back if our opponents kill him so they can sit and play some more. Uh, so this should be pretty sweet. All right, we're going to go play our five games in Ranked. And let's see how we do. Katarina Lucian. So this should be a Grand Plaza deck. We do have three Aftershock to kill the Grand Plaza. I, th I think we need to go look for it, right? I think we need to go find Grand Plaza. I'm going to keep both of our champions because, you know, like they're our champions. They're great. So I keep both of those, but I mulligan the other two cards, kind of looking for Aftershock. We march as one, an unstoppable force. I wish we had the attack token on turn three with the Ezreal. Try to hit him with Ezreal and create a Mystic Shot. One shot Hopefully no Sharp Sight. Ooh, okay, good. We still, unfortunately, never found Aftershock. But then again, they didn't play the Plaza last turn. Go hard, the Grizzled Ranger. Alright. Looks like my opponent doesn't know. There we go. Because it looks like they don't know how they want to sequence that either. So, like, do I want to play Death Ray plus Unspeakable Horror on the Senna? I guess so, because I do want to I do want to draw the other Death Rays. So that'd be three mana. So I'd have two other mana, which means I can keep up like Glimpse Beyond. I guess I do that, or I can give Victor a keyword. 
Oh no. Another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. All right, that's. Missed your chance to run. Oh, great. Clumsy design. It's gonna take seven. Exactly sure if I should play the Shade Stalker or keep mana available. I think I just keep mana available. I think I'm gonna want that two mana this next turn. Ingenious. Watch and learn. So if they play something before attacking next turn, I can I can copy their Bright Seal Protector and give one of my things. Behold me, ow, hairless apes! All evolution will converge to <laughs> Give one of my things barrier. Gonna play the hex core upgrade. Today we turn the tide of war. <laughs> I would love regeneration. That's that's the one that I want the most here. Fearsome, yuck. Yes, of course. Okay. Vengeance is not bad. So we know the next the next card's the MK, the two mana deal two. Let's just get these in and have good blocks. Take that. You're kidding me. All right, that's not so bad. I thought that you know, like they would challenge like the three-two, and I I wouldn't be able to, you know, kill their three-three here. That's good, and no might. You know, might might was definitely really scary. Might would have killed me. So we know we're drawing the two mana deal two. Good, and and no, uh, I guess a relentless pursuit would have killed me also. So right now I have like the MK2 for the two one and I have vengeance for the for the five three. It's just can they put nine power into play if I do that? Cause that will, you know, that'll take all of my mana and I won't have any kind of def defensive from them like attacking the next turn. Oh no. Oh, Captain Farron. Well, Captain Farron ends games. Captain Farron's good. All right. Because I mean, you know, of course we're we're dead to the deskmates. Captain Farron's so good. <laughs> it's like whenever I play my Noxus decks, I usually always play that card. Here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could have done that. I could have, yeah, I could have play, played a unit to be able to block the 5-3 and, and then, you know, death raid the 2-1 challenger and saved vengeance. That that was an option. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have made any difference against Captain Farron because three decimates just killed us. But yeah, I could have definitely done that. All right, so I love Aftershock. I like Unspeakable Horror quite a bit. Let's get rid of the Glimpse Beyond. We kind of noticed that last game that we didn't have any real opportunity to cast Glimpse Beyond. Um, the Calculated Creations can help turn on the Nightfall from Unspeakable Horror too, if we need that. If I played an android first, they, they have the three spell mana, they could play the two-one challenger. Exalt me like the god I am! Now so while I could cast Go Hard. I kinda think this is a good opportunity for unspeakable horror. We have a bunch of unspeakable horrors. Let's let's just go and play one of those right now. That's definitely fine with me. I'll trade Unspeakable Horror, um, you know, for Sharp Sight. Fortune favors the bold. A lot of things that deal one damage. Fresh out of mercy. Okay, we may have the opportunity to actually use Glimpse Beyond. Uh, maybe I need to be playing like the Go Hards first. But we haven't really had too much opportunity to play that card. Deck's all about dealing one damage. Ballistic bot that makes the spells each turn. Soldier to me. Our flesh was weak, but look at me now. System upgrade. Vengeance. That card's cool. I can kill a Cithria. Bless is motion. Right, fearsome. That's all right. So we'll have leveled up Ezreal now. Whenever we find Ezreal. In a long path to get here. Oh no. Always forward. I'm glad I didn't block with the onlooker so I can block the 6-6. Six -six. Behold me! 
So I gotta hope that, like, another Death Ray is on top. I hope that I hope that MK I hope we just put that MK3 on top. Get rid of the challenger. Oh no, Garen. The threats are looking a little better than the answers. Hmm. Okay, after game two, we're going to go ahead and make uh, a couple of, of small changes with the deck. Um, from playing these games, I don't think that we're a very good go hard deck. The go hard and the, the death ray, they don't um, they don't help each other out too much with the death ray going back on on top of your, of your deck. And from just watching these games, I don't think that we're going to really be able to cast. There's go hard. I don't think we're realistically going to be casting four go hards in a single game to be able to get to pack your bags. Um, we just don't. Even with uh, even with Glimpse Beyond and Progress Day, we just don't realistically have enough card draw, I think, to, to be able to play four Go Hards. And so for the most part, Go Hards just going to be one mana drain one, and that's really not that good of a card if you know if it doesn't have the Pack Your Bags part attached to it. Um, so I, th I think we're going to go ahead and get, get rid of the Go Hards, because um, as we saw those game, we, we have too many deal ones. So I think that's the one that I want to get rid of. I want to keep the Unspeakable Horror that gives us the Nightfall cards, keep the death rays that uh can kind of you know get larger and, and do more things and be fast speed instead of slow speed and so instead of the go hards we're going to try two mystic shots and a black spear to be able to help try to kill some larger things maybe this should just be even more black spears and not mystic shots but um you know mystic shots are really versatile like these are some uh like you know it's a more versatile card than what black spear is and then in then the one other small change in calculated creations just kind of cost a lot of mana like you know, even whenever you're getting like ballistic bot, you're spending four mana for ballistic bot, and I don't know, I, I don't really like spending that extra two mana to get any of those units. And so we're gonna try just a couple of doom beasts, where a doom beast is a good blocker and has the drain to uh, be able to heal your nexus for two. So we're we're gonna try two doom beasts instead of those. Um, the mist, as far as the mystic shot black spear, um, three three damage with these champions is pretty important. So maybe we'll find that we shouldn't have mystic shot and we should have gotcha instead because um, that's another option grasp the undying is another option we could play withering whale in a deck like this if you want but I, I don't think you need withering whale but grasp or gotcha could go in um for those um or even static shock to give you more card draw to pair with like your your death ray and stuff but i, I think you probably want cards that can kill um some medium size champions like your misfortunes of the world so maybe we'll tra change those myst Mystic Shots. We're going to try Mystic Shot for right now. Okay. So here we go. Fiora. See, you know, Fiora's another, you know, another champion where having the three damage spells matters a bunch instead of two mana for Mystic Shot. Okay, cool. Got the prediction started. Let's Mulligan Doom Beast keep the rest of these. I'm a little worried about Ballistic Bot and, and Fiora, you know, like how those match up. But can't really do too much about it. I don't think that the Ballistic Bot's a mulligan. I, I definitely thought about it, though, mulliganing Ballistic Bot, because, you know, 1-3 versus a 3-3. System upgrade. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. If I play Ignition... Then we do five damage to the Fiora, and they I don't think they can keep their Fiora alive. So I can basically make sure but like if I play Thermogenic Beam, they can give like a you know a plus two plus two 
and then not challenge. Heck, I mean, I guess I could just do Black Spear instead of Thermogenic Beam. Also. But even though I'm spending two cards, we're making sure to get rid of their champion. And I think that's worth it. Yeah, so they're, you know, they're, like you know, we can have a bunch of spells. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Don't blink, or you miss me. So they could go sharp sight block. They go sharp sight block. They, uh, yeah, I guess they can still, yeah, they can still sharp sight block, and then also have another card to save from Black Spear. Yeah, I guess if they have Sharp Sight plus, time, you know, Pill Cascade or something like do. that. Stop bragging if you can back it up. I have no time for fools. I'll get to the end. That'll make Black Spear work. Okay, please no more Fiora. They can have anything else in their deck, but not Fiora, please. Anything else. I'm okay with. Oh. So yeah, we're, we're gonna try Mystic Shot with the Fiora. You know, Mystic Shot, then Thermogenic Beam. Kind of stuff. Go, floaty crystal. The main question is like, because if I go thermogenic beam, or sorry, if I go if I go mystic shot first, yeah, I guess it's mystic shot first. Barrier, the mystic shot would take out barrier, and then they would take four. Um, this doesn't allow them to guiding touch. Okay. Now I can Thermogenic Beam. Okay, so we've taken out both Fioras. That's good. Look for vengeance plus, you know, like a fast speed spell, like an MK or a Mystic Shot. Um, the interrogative improvement with the Rekindler is pretty cool. I'm just gonna spend all my, you know, like with having the two progress days, like we we need to spend our mana pretty efficiently. Uh, I, I like doing that over playing, you know, Nandroid Aftershock. Let's just do this. There's Guiding Touch. I'm petting Harvey. She's laying on her back, wanting belly rubs. This will be quick. Well, I can make a, a new Rekindler. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Okay, good. This can get rid of a barrier if they have repost. They're sure thinking about it. Well, 
Elder Fiora is still alive for now. We're going to keep mana available for progress day plus spell that we draw afterwards. Okay, cool. I guess I might as well play this first. Zero mana deal one. Um, I also want to copy this follower before it dies. Oh, it went, it went really well, Rad. Tough? I can't kill it now. What a perfect card. That was the card that drew. Yeah, not not even the, the deal two doesn't kill it. I have no equal. Gonna vengeance next turn on this thing. We burn. Then kindle a new. Four to eight. Metal is perfection. Okay, cool. Got the sparkle fly out of here. That's good. Gives a couple of augments to the victor. Perfect draw. So that barrier doesn't stop. Uh, thing's gonna be a three three. Because Bastion's a card, I, I have to keep. I can't. I can't shoot that Zoe. I have to keep Death Ray for Bastion, and that's why I also could not play the Android, you know, for a blocker or anything either. I, I had to have Vengeance plus. Oh, I mean, I can't do anything about Judgment. Yeah, I did not. I didn't play around Judgment. Even the greatest mind likes pets. Surprised they're not casting super cool star chart. Yeah, surprised they didn't just cast some something there. My punch just kind of giving up, I guess. They're just not playing anything. Genius in action. I guess I killed the Fiora and they... I guess they gave up after killing the Fiora. They still, like, emote it. You know, use an emote a little bit ago. Okay, so yeah, they had, they had all three Fioras die. And then they gave up. I guess. Maybe not. So 
So it'd be 8 4 Life Steal Quick Attack Augments. El elusive. Boo. Alright, still 5 3 Elusives. Five fours. <clears throat> and they got augment. So I guess I just block with, like if they go immediately to attacks, I guess I have to just block with Victor, just just to make sure. You know, we'll, we'll just block with Victor because of the life steal that Victor has. Okay. I was also going to cast the progress day, just to see what we got, see if we got another fast speed removal spell that we could pair with that MK3. Alright, Zoe and... Zoe Zed. I don't know why I was blanking on Zed's name. Zoe Zed. Now, do I want... I mean, I guess I keep all of this. The thing is, the Nightfall's gonna be a little tough. That's too bad. I don't want them to create the free super cool star chart. So that's too bad, but I kind of... I really wanted that... Thermogenic beam for Zed. I guess I can block Zed and then glimpse beyond. Soon understand my methods. That feels good. Get some free mystic hey, shots. Krabby. That's my resting face. Time for a true display of skill. Okay, well, unspeakable horror that. Hang on, Zern. Kind of rough matchup for their their deck of only Zodiac one health units, done. and then I'm a deck with, you know, like just one a bunch of one damage stuff, you know, an Ezreal deck. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. So I don't really want to attack, and they. Pale Cascade, the Zoe, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I play the bot first to turn on the Nightfall. I'll just pass. Actually, let's just pass. Good draw. Quietly. Three with two E's. Today you are King Kuhn. System upgrade. Hey, take it to the gun show. All right, this is going pretty good so far. Your history. This will be me taking five. Yep, there's Pell Cascade. Okay, so we don't put more MKs back. That's okay. Watch and learn. 
<laughs> so we can play Stitchy and Onlooker, and then Glimpse Beyond the Onlooker to draw two, and then turn on Black Spear that way. So we have a nice, like, Black Spear combo here. Psst, act natural. I got you. And that's a nice create a card. Firing! Ezreal deck's definitely really good against the play a whole bunch of small units deck. Good matchup for us. And I am, I am just going to go ahead and play the Onlooker. And get it in play. Dang, yeah, that's a lot of Glimpse Beyonds. Open. Watch your branches. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. D for two. Hit the fall. It's me taking nine. I think we can go down to five. I think that's okay. I feel like they're going to play something, and, you know, maybe that allows me to Glimpse Beyond. But if they if they just play nothing and let damage happen and I don't get to Glimpse Beyond, that's going to be a little sad. Maybe oh, I should just time, practically like Glimpse Beyond this onlooker. Do. Okay, so they trade there. Because I would rather draw two cards than kill the Inspiring Mentor. I should have just played this right away. Good job, Doom Beast. Five out of six. Behold me, ow, hairless apes. Claws out. Nailed it. Unleash new potential. Sure. Alright, we have leveled up as real. I'm so good I surprised myself. River shape the land and give it life. Without a sound. No. Bad Zed. Bad Zed. Okay. Gives them a little hope. I mean, I will block Zed with Ezreal. They attack out. You won't scratch me. Going down to three. Oh, why am I? Why do I never use Glimpse? What form will the waters take? Waters are still. I don't know, it's just natural for me to like click, like I was clicked okay and then I started to like want to like go play Glimpse after I clicked okay, but you know, I already played, I already clicked okay, so I can't, I can't Glimpse afterwards. But you know, it's like, alright, these are my blocks, okay, like those are my blocks, now let me play this, that's, that's you know, kind of the natural thing for me, and, and uh, no, I gotta do, those are my blocks, now do this. Do Glimpse first and then okay. So 11, this is 3, that's 7. There's always a way out. Okay. Well, 
Wish I could give one of their things plus two plus one this round. Well, I guess I should have aftershocked that Navori conspirator. Get me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. Okay, so that is a unit. It's a unit, but they don't want to play it right now. I wonder what kind of unit could it be? Do not fear the shrouded path. Alright, I just did that. I, I don't know. I guess I should have just done the burst. I, I don't know. I was thinking of, like, be able to respond with burst, but they're at two. So burst would have just killed them. Easy. Like my name. Points. Get on in there. Okay, back to the Fiora deck again. That one started to look a little sketchy, a little closer than it probably should have been. But we ended up getting there. Alright, give it all. Get out of here. Glimpse Beyond. Get out of here. I mean, Glimpse Beyond's good against Fiora, right? Like, they challenge a glimpse, but still... I don't think I want it. We'll keep the aftershock and the bot. One size that papers now faces system upgrade. Maybe no Fiora? Always two steps ahead. Nah, never that lucky. Never that lucky. Safety disengaged. For the honor, try me. Okay, that, that worked out well. Protect house law. Got rid of that Fiora. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? Cool. Two champions down. Honestly. Okay, just kind of reset it, and so we're not like super far behind in, in mana. Because if I play Ezreal, I only have two mana. And they had all sorts of mana. With utmost efficiency. I'm not that scared of a 1 2 right now. Not yet. Overwhelm. I thought that was tough at first. I was, was going to be pretty happy about tough. Overwhelm. Debatable. So this is not a this is not an exact copy of a follower. Don't blink. Are you missing? Thermogenic beam just kind of rough against Bastion. I'd rather have Vengeance than Thermogenic Beam. I can take the hit, though. By playing the, playing the Ezreal gives me Mystic Shots. A card I may need. There's Vengeance. 
That is good. You still cling to flesh and fur? Even the greatest mind likes Okay, no single combat. Metal is perfection. From them. I can also just kind of keep on playing created cards. Behold me! So I, I can do Vengeance during their turn. One, I don't need to do Vengeance during my turn. But I can kind of keep on playing created cards and maybe get like the the power of these augment elusives. Up. Oh, oh, Challenger. Oh, maybe I should have done some Terrative Improvement first. Yeah, I guess I should have done that first before the other one. Yep. So that could have been a 3-4. Oh well. My life total is pretty safe. Regen. Okay. Basically, when, when do I want to play this give it all? Probably not yet. Yeah, I played after Victor level up and and um Wow, love that draw. I kinda want some more, you know, get get some more keywords up here. We're not really in any rush. No materials, no improvements. Now it has fearsome. Purple? Yeah, we're just not in any rush. Now we will vengeance this thing. And, you know, they have Bastion. I got stuff to get rid of Bastion. That should still... Oh, man. <laughs> I guess just to make sure. Yeah, that should get rid of it. I'll just cast this as your old Mystic Shot just to make sure. Because the barrier doesn't matter. Like, that gets rid of the Spell Shield and then the Vengeance kills it. Oh, 
but it doesn't show you with the MK because of the randomness of, of creating the death ray in the top three cards of your deck. Easy. Like my name. Yeah, they they were just out. They were they didn't have any outs. After we kind of like set up church there, so we were good. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. Victor Ezreal. We lost our first two, made a couple of changes, and then it, it started working a lot better after that. So, you know, those Mystic shots were pretty clutch. The Black, the Black Spear also clutch. Both of those cards looked really good. You know, looked a lot better than what Go Hard would have been. That slow speed Go Hard just wasn't, you know, wasn't powerful enough. We weren't really a Go Hard deck. Um, but yeah, the progress days were awesome in here. And, you know, you can kind of sit back with your control deck here with your Victor Ezreal. Um, yeah, it looked, it looked good. It looked good. The the Doom Beast also, you know, drained two in that game number four, which was uh, certainly helpful and gave us the blocker and gave us another thing to kind of glimpse beyond. Um, if if we you're able to use glimpse beyond correctly, <laughs> which I wasn't always able to. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. So that's that's Victor Ezreal. That was that was fun. That was yeah. That was that was good. Um, you know, got got some little bit better removal spells in here. The MKs were doing their thing, and just sitting back uh, with your champions. That's always a lot of fun. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Victor Ezreal. If you've been playing some Victor Ezreal, love to uh, hear that feedback. And um, you know, if you've been playing this kind of deck, uh, yeah, let me know how it's going for you. Um, even the one rekindler was pretty awesome. How we had the the one rekindler. And then be able to interative improvement rekindler. That was that was honestly pretty awesome. Alright, but that's all I got here for Victor Ezreal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.